right here, I am going to show you guys how to make a hedgehog holding a clover underneath the rainbow in the middle of the grass. Alright, so the first thing, or you know what, before we get started, here's another example. You can make them a little bit wider, you can make them a little thinner. Um, he doesn't have to hold the clover, you can make Happy St. Patrick's Day. Um, be creative, boys and girls. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is um, start with my hedgehog. I want kind of um, about a quarter up, I want kind of like a, a ground for him to be standing on. And I'm going to kind of make a swirly, kind of like a swirly line. Alright, so this is going to come up and around to where his little nose is. like that, the shape of his body. Alright, now I need to put some features into his body. Kind of like a little beard. So I'm going to put a little hill there, and then another little hill over there. I want to make just a little button nose, and I want to give him an eyeball. So a circle with a little rainbow inside. Give him a little eyebrow. Then I want to, you know what, he's going to need some feet. So I'm going to do a little foot there and a foot there. I feel like his feet need to be a little bigger. So here's a foot. with it. If you're not happy, just take that little eraser and happy it up. Alright, now my little hedgehog, I'm going to erase the line inside. My little hedgehog is going to need some little bit of hair. So this is the fun part, boys and girls. You can just kind of, however you want to give him hair, there's no right or wrong a girl, him or her hair. You're the artist. You decide. It's your world. Just drawing little lines to make some hair. Right over a cheaper hedgehog with lots of hair. And you want the hair kind of overlapping a little bit. It doesn't need to be you can even kind of go into the ear a little bit, not a problem. Alright, when you're happy with the hair on your hedgehog, and you have your hill drawn, I'm going to erase that because I want to see the hair, not the hill. Okay, when you're happy, oh, you know what? He is going to need to hold a clover. So, I mean, if you want him to. So, kind of like a nice long balloon line all the way up and then he's going to need a little hand so make a little hill three little lines in there kind of holding it and then he needs another little hand over here all right now on the top of my clover i am going to make um some hearts Here's one heart. Here's a sideways heart. Here's a sideways heart. If you want to make a four leaf clover, you can make another heart below, like I did there. See, there's four hearts. Or you can just leave it three. That's fun too. And just put one little thing down to kind of hold the. like as the stem on the string. All right, now that you have your hedgehog drawn, you're going to need some rainbow lines. So you're going to need one for Roy G. Bibb. So you're going to need one for red, orange, 
yellow. There's Roy. Um, G. One for green. Biv. One for blue. One for indigo, which is like a purpley blue. Or a purple. And then a violet, which is a more purple purple. Alrighty. Once you're that far, then you're going to take your dark colored crayon or marker. And you are going to go over your little hedgehog friend. You know what? I, by his ear, I'm going to erase those lines so that it just kind of blows into his head. Alright, so I'm going to take my black marker or my dark colored crayon. Now that I have drawn my little hedgehoggy guy, I am going to abracadabra it up. And I'm going to erase all those pencil lines and abracadabra it up. Whew. And there we go, boys and girls. There is my hedgehog named Rose. And you know what, though? My hedgehog needs a uh, um, happy St. Patrick's Day. H A P. E Y Saint Capital S T dot Patrick's P A T R I C K apostrophe S Day D A Y exclamation point and then it put these little dots on all of my letters. bubble letters if you want. You can make them however you want because you're the artist. And you know what? <clears throat> call it there. Alrighty, boys and girls. Thank you so much. Have fun with this. And remember, if you want to make your um, hedgehog just a little bit bigger or a little bit taller, bushier hair, it's your hedgehog. And you have fun. Bye, guys.